Hi, I'm Dr. Lucky Seacon. I'm a fertility specialist, and I want to talk about trying to conceive after experiencing a miscarriage. Unfortunately, miscarriages are extremely common, and I've helped so many women navigate next steps and getting back on the path to trying to conceive after having one. I think there are really two main components. There's a mental and emotional component, and then a physical component. And so it's a really individualized decision of when you're ready to start trying again. You should always speak to your doctor about this, but I think first and foremost, you need to take care of your mental health and be emotionally ready to start trying again. I always say that going through trying to conceive again and getting pregnant after having a miscarriage is almost like a form of PTSD. There's a lot of trauma and anxiety in any subsequent pregnancy, especially as you're approaching that same time point when you experience the loss in the prior pregnancy. So always over prepare. It's a great idea to have a therapist and have someone to talk to, to help you navigate all of those feelings and know that grief is not linear. It's something that can come back and rear its ugly head and you wanna have tools in your toolkit and be prepared to deal with that. As for the physical component, the biggest indicator, if you've had an early or first trimester miscarriage that you are physically ready and in a place where you could start trying to conceive again is having a negative pregnancy test. This could be a urine test or more specifically a blood test so that you can check your HCG levels. HCG is the pregnancy hormone and it can get very high depending on how far along you were, up to 100,000, and it has a long half-life so it takes a lot of time to clear from your system. This could be weeks, it could even be a few months. So once that level gets down to that negative place, it's back to baseline and that's a sign that you could probably start trying. Another physical sign is making sure you no longer have irregular spotting or bleeding. If you go back to just having a distinct period and then you're not having bleeding in between periods, that's also a good sign that you could be physically ready to start trying again. Anyone with a regular spotting that previously did not have that, that could be a sign that you could have retained tissue and it's a reason to get an ultrasound. The other thing to consider is that if you've had two or more miscarriages, this is a good time to pause and speak to your doctor about getting specialized testing for having recurrent pregnancy losses. This includes things like genetic testing called karyotypes for you and a partner, testing for thrombophilias or blood clotting disorders such as antiphospholipid syndrome. So these are three different markers in the blood work which can be detected as elevated. And if that's the case, there's a role for giving you baby aspirin and injectable blood thinners once you're pregnant. Looking for structural issues. So this could be a saline sonogram, an HSG to also look at the fallopian tubes, or just a hysteroscopy to look directly inside the uterine cavity for structural causes of miscarriage. Also testing your health in general, making sure your thyroid function is normal, that you don't have undiagnosed diabetes or other major medical problems. Once you've done this testing and the results are back, that would be another indicator that you can get back on the path to trying to conceive. I hope these tips were helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and good luck.